Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on the biotech sector, XBI, IBB, and then we'll look at VRX, which is a pharmaceutical closely linked, and then we'll look at CLVS. So XBI, we have a higher low pattern on the daily time frame. We bounced off the middle Bollinger Band last consolidation. This consolidation, we bounced just above that, and we're continuing higher lows. We have some tough resistance in the 7150s. Three days in a row, the highs have been 7152, 56, 59. Close right up at the high of the day. The bulls definitely have momentum heading into next week. Break those levels, and the highest price we've seen on this move is 72.43. So the bulls stood out as strong, and the biotech sector, while the S&P 500 began to continue to consolidate pretty much all of last week until the end, the biotech sector still remains strong. So the weekly time frame, we have an inside candlestick closing up near the high, and if we get that break of 72.43, we need to zoom out to find the next resistance levels looking at previous price action and looking at... The move back here in January and December, we look, are looking up 7167 has already broken. So 7344 would be the next level, the high from November of 2015. So the bulls are still in a nice trend. And let's zoom out a bit more and look at what needs to occur for the bulls to really turn this trend around. And they're on their way. We don't have too many resistance levels left. We're looking at 7344 just pointed out. Then we'll be looking up at 8019. So the bulls are definitely in an uptrend since the lows from 2016. We'll be watching to see how long this can continue to play out. IBB looking very, very similar to XBI on the daily time frame. Holding the middle Bollinger Band, higher lows, closing up at the high, breaking a couple key resistances at 300 psychological and closing above those levels. Highest price we have seen is 303.74. We do have the 100-week moving average resistance currently rejecting the price. That's at 302.70. The bulls need to get over that level. And we had the high from September of 301.61. And although we've broken that level, we have just barely broken it. So I always point out that the biotech sector in the S&P 500 for XBI is stronger than the NASDAQ here of IBB. And if we look at September 19th on XBI, where were we then? We were down at $69. So we are a couple of dollars above that level. Not a huge difference, but that's a few percent to the upside. And it is a slight move of more strength. So if I'm going to be choosing between one sector or another or one market or another i'm always going to choose the one that's that's stronger even if it's just slightly stronger so if i'm looking to play biotech's bullish i'm looking to play xbi rather than ibb so looking at vrx then there was some action on let's actually look at the shorter term time frames there was some action in the biotech sector at the end of the day on friday that was really an extra leg to the upside where we saw the bulls take over and watching here let me get this screen to fit look at that end of the day candlestick look at the volume so at, 3, oh, or at 320, the bulls really showed up and kicked it into another gear here and hit a new high of the day or just came up towards that high of the day. We didn't hit a new high of the day, but we saw a big time volume spike and a big move to the upside and checking in on IBB at that same time, same kind of candlestick. So the biotech bulls really poured it on at the end of the day in the last 45 minutes of trading. And there were some individual names like VRX, which was oversold. So we have a lot of shorts in those names. Look at what happened to the shorts here at the end of Friday. It was a bit of a short squeeze, and the bulls really showed up here with the biotechs, but it, it really got a strong move to the upside, more so than other individual names that we were watching in the sector. So VRX benefiting from a bit of a short squeeze at the end of the day, but we did have a, a bearish entry opportunity right at the end of the day from overbought conditions, and that was just for a really quick scalp 
We had the five minute RSI up at 92, so we know we're extremely overbought. I look at the hourly time frame and I see the 100 hour moving average resistance of 1242. So I know to be scouting for weakness at that level because we're hitting resistance very overbought with the bulls exhausted to the upside. So we ended up rejecting three cents below that level and we pulled back a couple of percent in five minutes. So a really quick scalp opportunity, but obviously the bulls still closing strong on the daily time frame. So VRX on the daily, this oversold bounce is now underway. We had the lower high pattern was in play three, six, eight days in a row. And as soon as we broke 12.05 on Friday, that broke the lower high pattern and we saw a strong close. So resistance is 12.39 and then looking at 12.90, there is upside room here. We have to keep in mind the bears are absolutely in control of the daily and the weekly trend, but we have a short term oversold bounce playing out. So we will be looking for a little bit of follow through to the upside. The weekly time frame tried to form a bullish reversal hammer, not really significant at this point. And after we hit lower lows by breaking $13, very clearly the bears are asserting their control and the bulls will have no momentum on the weekly time frame until we get this middle Bollinger band as support after it rejected the price three weeks in a row. CLVS on the daily time frame, we were watching CLVS as the lead bull in the biotech sector with a ton of strength to start 2017. We began to consolidate with lower highs and lower lows, but this is normal healthy consolidation at this point without a very significant pullback, no dump volume, and the bulls are looking to try and regain the momentum to the upside now. So we hit the low of the pullback, that was at 56.56. That's our new must hold support level. We continue to form lower highs. So we have our high, lower high, lower high, lower high. But now we have a higher low compared to 56.56 and now a higher high by breaking 62.29 and closing at the high of the day. So the bulls do have momentum heading into Monday. The next resistance we're looking at is 63.83 and 66.06. So nice upside bullish momentum. We have a bullish MACD cross we're gonna be keeping an eye on. And the weekly time frame. this consolidation was very healthy and contained as it was not significant and considering where we came from after five big green weeks in a row a little bit of consolidation certainly healthy and the bulls are going to be looking to resume this uptrend so the key support is now our higher low of 58.26 and the next resistance 63.83 we'll see if the bulls can continue this momentum on monday and be approaching that bullish macd cross so i appreciate you watching biotech bulls certainly still holding on in the short term and we'll be continuing to check back in each weekend i appreciate you watching have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you soon.